Alright, out of all the different Carcano models, if you really want to learn to shoot one, probably the best one is the uh, Model 41 Long Rifle. Because the sights are set to 100 yards in the, in the battle site. And they have continuous rifling, and you can find these, they were imported, they were the last long rifle model made. And you can find a lot of them in pretty excellent condition. So, I have worked with this, this gun is accurate, but then again, using them sights. So what we're going to do, top of the sight here, we're going to try to put on the bottom of the bowl, and the front sight blade all the way down to the bottom. Alright, we'll check out the spot and scope and see. Okay, there's a hole at the bottom of the cardboard. So, we're going to see how this works. We're going to take it up, line the top of the sight blade to the top of the uh, rear sight, and then shoot at the bull and see what that gets us. Okay, now, changing that sight picture this way, I've moved it up about 12 inches. I'm on the paper to the left at the bottom. So we're going to try something to get it in a little closer and see how it goes. Okay. Okay, so we come up a little. Instead of holding it to six o'clock, kind of went point of aim, shifted to the right, and we got one in the bolt. So I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to go and try to shoot. It's a matter of getting the right sight picture, remembering the right sight picture again and again. That's the hard part. But we'll see how, if we can pummel the bull and we'll take a look at how we did. Alright, the reason you use cardboard like this, first shot down here using the rear sight, six o'clock hold all the way down at the bottom, that's where it's shot. That's where sometimes you have trouble sighting the gun in. So now we realized that we had to put the front sight flush with the top of the rear sight. Six o'clock hold again. Again, we put two of them down in here, or one was down here. So we're low. So what we use is flush with the front sight blade, flush with the rear sight, top wise, point of aim. So then we started to shoot and we found we're a little high to the right. So then we kind of got it to where I got the right sight picture and then I was shooting a tad to the right but we brought it in to where we ran a clip and we can hit in the black. So it's an accurate gun. That gun is very accurate but it's just and switching from rifle to rifle is kind of difficult for me. I got to remember all the different sight pictures, kind of getting confused. I'm doing this because my time is limited, but if you have the one rifle, always bring a person to spot for you with a spotting scope, and in a short period of time you could get it in. And make sure you got a good visible backstop. Alright, I'm going to run one more, probably for the day, to see how I do, and that'll be it.